go from playing with the Everly's and Warren to uh, ultimately producing Warren? And, and what is it like producing Warren Zevon? Sounds like a, uh, I love his music and his perspective and his point of view. And if that's how he is or was in person, that must have been a, a, a wild experience. It was wild. Yeah. yeah. And he was, <clears throat> you know, that was the period where Warren was uh, very alcoholic. So it was a very uh, tough period. I, I wound up producing him because uh, I worked on that first album, the Blue Album, I call it, the one Jackson produced. Yep. And I went to England with Linda. I think it was with Linda. It might have been with someone else. But I came, I, when I was there, I got interviewed by somebody about that album. And I made the mistake, well, it wasn't a mistake, it turned out to be, but with my big mouth, I said, they said, what did you think of Jackson's production on the album? And I said, well, and it was crazy. I mean, there was a lot of people there during these sessions. It was out of control. Warren was out of control pretty much most of the time anyway. And it was, it was quite a task to get anything done, really. It was hard. So I said, well, quite honestly, you know, I think he had his hands a little too full, you know, and he really didn't know what to do because it was it was a real it was tough you know it was hard so when i got home i said uh, uh the phone rang and i pick it up and it's jackson brown call and i said well, hey jackson how you doing he goes i'm fine he goes listen i read your interview i went what you you i thought you know i'm in england no one's ever going to see this in america i read your interview you did yeah, you know, the one where you said I didn't know what I was doing and I had my hands too full. I went, oh, um, before I could say anything, he said, you're right. He says, you were absolutely right. He says, that's why I'm calling you. I want you, I need you to help me co-produce his next record. I went, you got to be kidding me. I went, you don't even know me. He goes, I know you well enough now <laughs> to know where I stand with you and where I stand with him. And uh, I need you to help me do this. So I was thrilled. And uh, that's how I got to produce that record with Jackson. And Amazing. I got to do what I do, which is most of the time is try to lead bands whenever I can. And I could hear Warren's tunes. I could hear the arrangements there should be. So we'd had, you know, small bands. And again, it was Russell Kunkel, Lee Sklar, Danny Korchmar came in, uh, Jeff Picaro had all the, the great players in Los Angeles in and out of that studio working with us always. It was fantastic and the songs were great and we had our we had werewolves in the back pocket and you know we didn't know that that was going to be the song that made his name and made our life happen yeah Com composition wise had no idea we thought no one's going to like this one you know, that's what we thought <laughs> when the record company picked werewolves to be the single we were aghast Warren and I, we just went, you got to be kidding me. Of all the songs on this record, that's what they want to go with? We're thinking we were so wrong and happily so, so incorrect in our judgment. Iconic. And and I loved that, you know, the story you recount in the movie about having John McVie and Mick Fleetwood on drums and going through 62 takes of this to, own, to decide that the second take was yeah. the right the right one. Take two, was, yeah. Was that a typical uh, occurrence in these kinds of sessions where you do, you know, numerous takes just to find that the early uh, ones were? Sometimes, sometimes. That was an extreme uh, was a... example. Mick just kept saying, let's, yeah, we're never done, Waddy. Let's keep going. I'm going but, but, you know, after we did take two, Jackson said, that was pretty good. You want to hear it? And Mick goes, nah, let's keep going, keep going. I went, oh, okay, let's keep going. We were so happy they came to do it with us. Oh, excuse me. We said, let's keep, let's keep going. We kept going, kept going. It's like five in the morning. I went, Jackson, take two was good, wasn't it? He goes, yeah, you want to hear it? I went, yeah. So we never came in and listened to anything. <clears throat> we just kept going and going. <laughs> it was amazing. And it's take two, what, essentially what we hear as the oh, yeah. final. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> that's that's great yeah and then uh, uh i'm guessing